Hajime tries to kill Crazy Yoko, but that wizard robe is carrying her away to safety. Hajime, I know what you were trying to do. You are a wizard robe, Hajime. You just wanted to snatch it off of her. You weren't trying to kill her. You just wanted your wizard robe back. <laughs> the horizon and your official official for this game the referee the united states aviator welcome to a very spooky episode of the dongarabang games it is the day before halloween we've got some things to do but most importantly, we've got to get somebody to the singles finale today. Who will it be? I don't know. But we have plenty of people to choose from, and they are all being represented by a certain classic Halloween animal. Animal. Character. Costume. Creature. Creature. That's what we want. Let's... <laughs> I was not I was not ready at all. I was like, animal, costume, thing, creature. That's the one. Here's the here's the lot that we have today. There will the the, the the werewolves, Togami, the Alva, Mondo, Akane, Gota, Izayoi, and Scrappy Masaru. The vampire, Celeste, and her fan her vampire butlers and maids. Gundo, our light bearer, Angie. Genocide Jack, Monica, Corey in the house. The ghost, Fat Togami, a ghost of his former self. Hajime, Peko, Grantaro, Kaito, and Komaru, who can see the ghost. She can see him and apparently be possessed by them, the witches. Saiko, of course. Junko, there's no beef, there's no beef, there's no beef, there's no beef. Yet. Yeah. Junko, the other light bearer, which is shocking. Didn't think Junko would be the light bearer, being the hope for someone else. Himiko, Katoko, Ruka, and Chisa. The zombies, Toko, Crazy Yoko, Chiaki, Shuichi, Mitarai, and Daisaku. The mummies, the frail ones, Chihiro, Nagito, Mikan, Jitaro, Hiroko, and Tengen. And of course, every once in a while, we gotta toss in a joke injury. And so I thought to myself, whom? Whom? And it's Junko AI. Junko AI, who is technically different than Junko, they're technically two different entities. But, this isn't just regular Junko, this is big Junko, this is Junko AI. I'm talking Junko, uh, absolutely immense. That's right. That's, that's what we're going with. <laughs> That'll do. So tell me. Who's your favorite Halloween creature? And which team do you like the best here? And then first, second, and third in the comments. Because those comments are important and they are fantastic. Like this one. And that one. And that one. Beautiful. Fantastic. All three. And the dings, it's all great. I'm gonna tell you mine. We're not gonna waste any time because it's what, 37 folks? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six, six, thirty-six plus one is thirty-seven. Interestingly enough, the same size of Sunday's OC episode, which should be a lot of fun. Don't forget about that. And Sunday's also daylight savings time, which is going to be super duper interesting. Out of everyone who's here. I like Team Mummy the best, so I'm gonna say they're gonna win, and I think it's gonna be Chihiro, because it's been a hot minute since Chihiro's done any magic. Speaking of magic, I got Himiko for second, and I'm gonna take Kaito for third, almost getting his first win, but not quite. So I got Chihiro, Himiko, Kaito. Yeah? Yeah. And of course, as the official official, I've got yellow cards. I've got red cards, but most importantly, I got secret achievement cards, and will any of them hit? I don't know, but we're about to find out, because we will not dilly, we will not dally, and we will not wait, because that's plenty, which means it's time to start. What awaits beyond the horizon? I 
haven't a clue. Not nary an idea. But we will find out as we start round one. And we proceed. Oh, 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 oh. That's a strong start. <laughs> to round one. There are no tributes. No, there are. There are no podiums. No, they are. And there weren't any horns, but we found one immediately. Yesterday, Sato found herself a tuba. Actually, it's a sousaphone, because it wraps around the body. But she found a tuba. And you know what that means. It means that we can. Tunli, Dave, you guys will hit the, uh, hit the percussion. And Sato, if you will please, sound the horn. And you know what's interesting? The next time that we could potentially get a new horn bearer, because we still have trumpets to get, we still have trombones to get, we still have French horn, we still have a baritone, euphonium. We still have plate we have people to get. Next time that we could get one is the OC episode on the first. Yeah, one of the OCs could be forever memorialized as a horn bearer. That's nice. I like that. I hope that happens. It's round one. Gundam ambushes Chisa and takes her out. Which could be good for Chisa if Gundam ends up winning. Toko challenges Katoko. Challenges Toko to a duel. Katoko bites the dust, unfortunately. Kaito looks around for stuff to surround. Chihiro does something really cute. Junko, the light bearer, tries to kill Rantaro, uh, Rantaro over Talis and kills her instead. She was like, I'm hope for someone? Get me out of here. <laughs> Nagito seems unshaken by it all, though. Monica attempts to kill Akane, but Togami the Alpha intervenes just in the nick of time, and he had to take out Monica to protect Akane's life. That Togami attacks and kills Chihiro in front of Jotaro. Jotaro rushes in to help, but there's nothing he can do, and Chihiro dies in his arms. What a turn! There was saving, and then there was nothing that could be done in those two events. Hajime totals his thumb. Shiaki doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Ren I'm sorry, Masaru rambles on about something nobody cares about. Crazy Yoko disappears for a while, and comes back as a crazed wizard, with the wizard robe that she just found. Scattering sparkles everywhere, she slips it on, uh-oh. Togami and Mono get into an argument over who should be in charge, Cory now finds some other scraps, and now he's a caveman. Good on Cory. he's caveman in the house, it's a party every week. Komaru and Pekko's fingers touched by accident, they will blush a little bit. Mondo hopes to get everyone out of here. Jotaro has a blank expression on his face and seems unresponsive to what's going on. Ruruka and Saika conspire against Himiko. Genocide Jack thinks about Monica and sobs quietly. It just happened to rest in peace. Daisaku still can't believe Toko has killed someone. Himiko mopes around uselessly. Shuichi is proud to lead Team Zombie. Team Mummy is doing not so great as Celeste manages to sneak attack Hiroko and Nagito, getting them both out of here. Akane feels strong enough to handle anything. Saika's looking for an easy out. I bet she is. I bet she is. There's no beef. Not yet. Angie attacks Pekko from behind and eviscerates her. I really want Pekko to win another game. I like Pekko a whole bunch. Mitarai is ready to defend his friends. Junko, AI, tries to kill Crazy Yoko. Crazy Yoko's wizard rope has already carried her away to safety. You can't get her. She's too small. With your giant fist, you can't hit her. It's like playing whack-a-mole with a mallet that's too big, I guess. Tengen feels horrible for failing Team Mummy. Yes, because half of them are gone, Tengen. <laughs> Mikan does her best to avoid the team. Captain, Tengen, well, that is probably why you're failing them. Izzy always spots something shiny in the distance. Rantaro thanks Komaru for being there for him and going to follow some sparkles and he finds a magic wand. That could be a game changer, unless it doesn't have any spells left. Eight are gone. Twenty-nine remain. Still have plenty to go. This was only the first day. So we do need... A Claire de Lune. Four. Chisa. Katoko. Junko. Monica. Chihiro. Hiroko. Nagito. Pekko. 29 remain. Eight are gone. And most of them were gone right at the very start, which is terrifying. But this simulator, we never know quite what happened. Someone finds a wish ring, someone can get brought back. There's a magic wand in play, anything could happen. Shenanigans are about to go down. Shenanigans are about to ensue. And shenanigans are about to proceed. As we go on to round two. Yes? 
Yes? I don't want to hand out any yellow cards. Or any red cards. But I would love to hand out some secret achievements. Let's see if we can, as we go to the next round. At the start of round two. Kaito seems to find Rantaro's presence soothing. Toka wants to end already. Or, sorry, wants to end things once for all with Izioi. I guess it does! Good things, all things end for Toko because she bites the dust. Masaru thinks about what he did to end up here. Mondo doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Chiaki. Nobody really wants to, Mondo. Nobody really wants to. Junko AI is only looking out for herself. Togami finds us all below his concern. Gundam our light bearer mopes around uselessly. Tenocide Jack looks like she's on the verge of snapping. Daisaku doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Celeste can't take it anymore. Snaps Angie's neck. Poor girl. Jitaro just wants it to end already. Mito, were you on the same team? Were you on the same team? I think you might have been on the same team. Jitaro just wants it to end already. Mitorai wishes he could go home. Hajime tries to kill Crazy Yoko, but that wizard robe is carrying her away to safety. Hajime, I know what you were trying to do. You are a wizard robe, Hajime. You just wanted to snatch it off of her. You weren't trying to kill her. You just wanted your wizard robe back. Maybe you will get it. Sayaka can't take her eyes off of Maruka. Kamaru does something really cute. Rantaro never wants to kill anyone ever again. Crazy Yoko isn't sure whether to cry, laugh, or tear her hair out. Just use your wizard robe. Scatter, scatter some sparkles all over the place. Something inside of Cory snaps and he is frenzied. Oh no. Gonta waves his magic wand around, sending sparkles everywhere. Mikon sets down a trap. Himiko does her best to avoid Sayaka. Shuichi has made some mistakes as a leader, but only lost two members of his team and wants to do right by Team Zombie Ruka. Gets caught in one of Mikon's traps. What a silly, what a stupid mistake. She should have known better. Now she can do his hope to be free. Tengen wasn't looking and fell off of a cliff. Is your team down to two folks? We'll check in a minute. Fat Togami tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake with only one person gone. That's incredible. Akane feels strong enough to handle anything we lost for. Next round, we will go ahead and we'll check on everyone and their statuses. But for right now, instead of Clarity Loom, four are fallen. Four. Toko. Chiaki, Angie, Tengen. Okay. 25 left, still more than a standard size game, which means we can keep on going. After this next round, we'll check the statuses. We'll probably lose at least one, but who knows with this simulator? We could lose none, we could lose eight, we could lose some. We're gonna lose at least one. Oh, we are gonna lose one, all right. There's no beef, there's no beef. Round three, Himiko recalls something about Juko and sobs quietly. Are those tears of pain, probably? Yeah. Kamaru finds a shotgun. Oh, and she's a sharpshooter, too. She starts thinking about the damage she can do, or I guess this season she's a dead eye. Uh-oh. She might do some damage. She might win this one. Celeste can't wait to kill again. Dasaku just wants to be helpful. Fat Togami finds us all below- I'm sorry, thinks about what she did to end up here. He doesn't find this below his concern. Hajime finds some leather scraps. It's not the caveman- I mean, it's not the wizard robe he was looking for, but it will have to do for now. Saika tries to kill our boy Izayoi, but our boy Izayoi retaliates and takes Saika out instead. Saika, you tried to, you tried to, first of all, you tried to take out our boy. That's a yellow card. You did it in such a way that it got yourself eliminated. That's another yellow card. That's a double yellow. That's a red card. Get out of here. Get out of here, you ejected. Kaito finds a dapper suit in Pazan. It's a rather fetching of Ruka still traps, screams for help, but nobody answers. Maybe Izayoi will help you out. As he spots something shiny in the distance, that's not Ruka. Crazy Oko attempts to kill Gonta, but Masaru intervenes just in time. He had to kill Crazy Oko to protect Gonta's life. See, that's... That's the, that's the wolf pack. That's the wolf pack sticking together. Masaru kills the light bearer, which means nobody that Gundam took out will be saved. As Genocide Jack cannot react in time, she rushes to help, but Gundam dies in her arms. Junko AI, the joke entry, so never count her out, is looking for an easy out. Mitarai is glad he can rely on Shuichi. Tengen's gone. Shuichi has made some mistakes later, but wants to do right by Team Zombie. Akane just wants it to end already. Jitaro was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Genocide Jack also wants it to end already. In a fit of frenzy, Kori creeps up on Akane and kills her dad. Oh, and even more so, Gonta admires Togami's confidence. Mondo finds a lovely bikini, puts it on. It's quite revealing. Togami and Mondo team up and ambush Kaito, slaughtering him. The first one for him will not be today, as Rogue Rantaro just wants to protect Komari. Don't we all? Don't we all? And Mikan won't die like the others. Like these others? Like these five? That just perish. These five. That fairly perish, because I, I double-checked, because I'm the officiate, making sure everything is fair and fun. 
But that means we did lose five, which means there's 20 left. 10 more until the saving grace pick, but for right now, tis a clear day loom four. Sayaka. Crazy Hyoko. Gundam. Akane. Kaito. The luminary of the losers. We got 20 left. Let's see what's up. Junko AI is still in. Surprisingly enough, don't count her out. The witches only have Himiko and Ruruka. The mummies only have Mikan and Jotaro. The ghosts only have Fato. Well, not only, they have four of their members Fatogami, Hajime, Rantaro, and Komaru. The vampires only have three Genocide Jack Celeste and Cory in the house. The zombies have three as well Shuichi, Mitarai, and Daisaku. And the werewolves is. They're the pack that's going strong, the wolf pack. Only lost Akane, they still have, and they just lost Akane too. They're doing real well, but that doesn't mean anything. Togami, Mondo, Gonta, Izioi, and Masaru. And that's the final 20. How you think's doing? Doing pretty good? Mine aren't. <laughs> they are not. But that is besides the point. Let's go on. Let's proceed. 10 more until you're saving grace picks. Because if you need them, You'll get them soon, maybe. Unless it's a slow grind. It's happened before, but will it happen this time? No, I don't think it will, because it is going a little bit faster than I thought. At the start of round four, Daisaku feels sorry for Ruka and frees her from the trap. What a nice guy. What a pleasant gentleman. I'm proud of him. Cory in the house has frenzy finally dies down. Ruka doesn't care much for this place. Izuor remembers how much he misses Akane and sobs quietly. Jitaro sobs quietly as well. Jack eats something she didn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. Their team is doing terrible, but not as bad as this team, as Junko, absolutely immense, attacks Daisaku and Mitarai from behind, slaughtering them both. I think it might just be Mikan left for the mummies. I think, no, they are the zombies, so that's two gone from the zombies, actually. Mondo flaunts his bikini, Togami finds us all below his concern, Hajime has a horrible feeling, this guy Mikan attacks Shuichi from behind and slaughters him. Masaru keeps trying to tell a joke, but it always falls flat. But you know what? Even though it's falling flat, Gonta's like, you know what, you may be terrible at stand-up, but at least your muscles are looking great. Celeste finds an axe somewhat up in her chances of survival, uh-oh. We know that axe, axe craziness is actually a thing in this simulator. Fatsogami feels horrible for failing the ghost. He's only lost two. That's not that bad. Himiko mopes around uselessly, where Taro hopes to have a harmony one. And Komaru reloads that shotgun just in case. Just in case she needs to use it. Four gone. Sixteen remain. And a clarinet loom for the fallen four. Genocide Jack. Daisaku. Mitarai. Shuichi. Nothing, nothing, nothing yet. Still a couple that could hit. But for right now, we have to go on and see if one of them hits. We have to go on and see who wins. I don't know who it will be, but I can tell you that we will be proceeding. Are you ready? I am ready. As you are official, official, to ensure that this game is fair and fun, I will be checking things out by clicking next round. And at the start of it all, oh, oh. Ruka seems unshaken by any of this. Rantaro and Komaru's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. Togami tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake. And it must be working because his team is still doing phenomenally. Yoi doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Rant. I'm sorry, Jotaro. Not Rantaro. Mikan does something really cute. Himiko wishes she could go home. Celeste is ready to use her axe if she has to. Mondo attempts to kill fat Togami. But Komaru intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Komaru dies in the attempt. She was like, Fat Togami, no. I've won before, you still need to get yours. And she steps in the way. She perishes though, Fat Togami has made some mistakes as a leader but wants to do right, he wants to win this for Team Ghost. He doesn't want to be a ghost of his former self anymore. I'm going to fail to grasp the gravity of the situation if that ain't the entirety of V3. Hajime wearing leather scraps is a sight to behold, Cory twitches uncontrollably, Masaru sizes his muscles, and Junko AI is looking for an easy out, two more guns. Which means it's one, two, three, four. Until you're saving grace and one, two, three, teen, thirteen. Until we declare a winner. So for right now, we gotta keep going until we get those four gone. And that could happen in a single round. It could happen next round, but for right now, a quick clarity loon. Four. Jotaro. 
Komaru. Two down? Uh, two down. Two and two to go. Until saving grace picks. Because I need some. This get up. Not particularly the best. For picking apparently. Doesn't bring me good luck. Sure doesn't. But what will bring me good luck? Maybe the saving grace picks. Let's get to them. By proceeding. 23 gone. Only 14 remain. And more. Oh. 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 Interesting. Round 6. Junko AI wonders about the future. Future. Mm. <laughs> How? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't think that you like the future so much, eh, Junko AI. I mean, you might have, a, might have a hard time with that one. Corey now sets down a trap. Komaru's gone. Ruka tries to kill Izioi. Facts. But Izioi this time retaliates and kills her instead. Good on him. Mondo thinks about Akane and sobs quietly. Fat Togami gets caught in one of Cory's traps. Now all he can do is hope to be free. Togami finds us all below his concern. Izioi looks around for stuff to scratch. Gonta still can't believe that Mondo's killed someone. Hajime finds Fat Togami caught in a trap and manages to free him. What a good guy. What a good chap. That's the wolf pack. I'm sorry, that's the ghost pack, actually. Rantaro's ready to defend his friends. Himiko kind of wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Mikan won't die like the others. Masaru rambles on about something nobody cares about, and Celeste is still in thinking of a dark, dark poem. Two more. Until the saving grace breaks. One team is still dominating right now. But for right now, a Claire de Leon. Four. Ruruka. Himiko. Twelve souls. Eleven until we get a winner. And just one. Two. Two. Until your saving grace picks. Who will those picks be? Do you even need them? Maybe you are crushing right now, unlike me, who was not. Because <laughs> these are some pretty popular picks, if I'm being completely honest. But for right now, some of those popular picks might vanish, might disappear, as we go on to the next round, as we proceed to see what happens. Those are some pretty popular picks, but they do guarantee that we will be going to the Save and Grace picks section of this game. Round 7. Togami and Mono get into an argument over who should be in charge. Ijioi kills Kori before Celeste can react. There's nothing she can do. She might be all alone. Hajime challenges Mono to a duel. Ma, Hajime bites the dust. Junko, AI, can't wait to kill again. She might be a sleeper pick. Togami twiddles his thumbs. Celeste has a blank expression and seems unresponsive to what's going on. Shuichi's gone. So is Akane. So is Pekko. Mikan does something really cute. Crazy Yoko's lifeless body rises with maggots. Rantaro never wants to kill anyone ever again, and let me tell you, his wish is granted because Masaru and Togami come at him from both sides and slaughter him. Gonta waves his magic wand around, sending sparkles everywhere, and Mitarai is gone. We lost three. It's your final nine. I think it's going to be an interesting view of the teams who are left. So, real quick, can we get a Claire de Lune? Four. Cory in the house. Hajime. Rantaro. Because there are nine left. And as we peek at the details, you already know. Oh, is their team completely- oh, their, their team is completely out. Before we actually peek at this, we need to silence this. Because there's nine left. We are within your final ten. And I know your picks may have perished. But fear not. There is still hope. And that hope lies in the form of your saving grace picks. Junko AI absolutely immense. It's still in. Team Witch is completely out. The Vampires only has Celeste to carry the name. The Werewolves are still doing tremendously they've only lost akane they are rocking it right now the mummies only have me gone i should also name all of these werewolves because they are your saving grace picks togami mondo gonta izioi and masaru are still in for the werewolves team ghost still has fat togami and team zombie is completely out so I will say that more than half of the team, or the people who are left, are all on Team Werewolf. And then it looks like it's one from four teams. Unaffiliated Junko AI, the Vampires have Celeste. 
the mummies have Mikan, and the ghosts have Fat Togami. So the picks are yours. I will say that the safest picks are probably the werewolves. <laughs> but make them in the comments by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell button, and going into the comments. Your own comment. Reply to it. Edit it. Make them known. Because I gotta make mine known too. I don't think the werewolves are gonna pull this off. I think Celeste has this. I think she's getting her first one. I think Fat Tomi, uh, Fat Togami's gonna get second. I think the werewolves are just gonna fumble and Mondo's gonna get, Togami's gonna get third. Celeste, this is, I think these are terrible saving grace picks, but I got a gut feeling the wolves are gonna fall apart. Celeste, Togami, I'm sorry, Celeste, Fat Togami and regular Togami, first, second, and third for me. Do I believe that's gonna happen? Not really. Could it happen? Absolutely. But I can tell you this. The Togami? Mondo. Izayoi. Celeste. Wait, is he always still in? Yeah, he's a part of the wolves. Junko AI. Celeste. Togami Mondo. Izayoi. Gonta. Masaru. Mikan. And Fat Togami. Your final nine. Are all beating strong. Hearts going strong. Racing, racing as strong as a samurai woman's. I think we just gotta go on. Final nine. We'll come out on top. Will we get any more secret achievements? Still possible. I don't know if it'll happen. We still have, what, like half the season to get them. Let's go on. Let's proceed to round eight. Togami tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake. Mikan won't die like the other. Celeste has a blank expression and seems unresponsive uh, unrespon to what's going on. Mondo looks really good in his bikini. Facts. Junko AI absolutely massive. <laughs> Attacks Masaru from behind and gets rid of him. She was just like Junko Smash. Izuoi spots something shiny in the distance. Gonta admires Mondo's muscles and Togami. That Togami feels horrible for failing Team Ghost as slowly but surely Team Wolf is whittling down. They've lost one. And a Clary Loon. I'm sorry, actually. Even though his team was on top, it's actually a terrible turnabout. Four. Masaru. And then there were eight. Seven more. This game is over. But will, will the werewolves hold their lead, or will things fall apart? Because right now they've slowly, technically fallen apart. It is now four v four others. I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's go ahead. It's still Samurai Woman time. Let's see what happens as we go to the next round. Will the werewolves hold it together? They might. They might. Gonta doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Batogami tries to kill Mikan. He should have tried to kill uh, kill a wolf because Mikan retaliates and kills him instead. Izuoi thinks about what he did to end up here. Mondo sizes those muscles. Togami finds this all below his concern. A god. Uh, Junko AI finds this, or I'm sorry, seems to be unshaken by any of this. Celeste snaps out of it. Mikan is being adorable as always, and Hiroko is gone. We lost another one. Seven remain. And it is a terrible turnabout, because Team Ghost has perished. They are now ghosts of themselves. And it's a terrible turnabout. Four. Fat Togami. So it's the final seven, Mikan, Celeste, Junko AI, Togami, Mondo, Izayoi, <sighs> Gonta. Are you ready? We still have six more to go until we get a winner. It is now four of the werewolves versus three other folks. Those three other folks being Mikan, Celeste, and Junko AI. Can they hold on to their lead or will things turn around? Let's find out, because the only way to do so is by still hitting the Samurai Woman, because we're not in our final five yet. Will we get there this time? We're gonna get close. And it's looking good for the werewolves again. Junke AI is looking for an easy out. Togami has made some mistakes as a leader, but wants to do right by the werewolves. Gonta shakes his magic wand that he never really used, because the last of its magic is gone. The star tip has grown dull and useless, and Gonta tosses it aside. And as he's tossing it, Mikan sees the perfect opportunity to strike, but Togami intervenes just in time. Togami had to kill Mikan to protect Gonta's life. Togami, 
has been a fantastic alpha werewolf, if I have to say anything. He has been watching out for the pack. Junko's gone. Mondo misses how much he, uh, remembers how much he misses Akane and stops quietly. The pile of flesh that used to be Cory rots peacefully. Izzy always spots something shiny in the distance, and Celeste is ready to use her axe if she has to. Don't count out Celeste, she's still got that axe. It is now 4v2 for wolves, Celeste, and Junko AI. Still technically anybody's game, but it feels like the wolves are gonna end this one together and go on to a 1v1v1v1. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I can say, for the mummies, it is a terrible turnabout. Four. Mikon. A shame too, or she will not be going to that singles finale. She didn't hit a secret achievement. <sighs> the four wolves. Togami, Mondo, Gonta, Izayoi, Junko AI, and Celeste are the final six. What's gonna happen? I don't know. But we can find out. Let's go on. It's still the final six, so it's still Samurai Woman. And once again, we are at the point where it could all end. All they knew is two KOs on Celeste and Junko AI. Will they get them? They won't, but things are interesting again. Round 11. Chihiro's gone. Junko AI wants to end things once and for all with Izioi. Izioi bites the dust. That's one more wolf gone. It is now three. V2. But that won't last for long. Gota fails to grasp the gravity situation. Mondo and Togami get into an argument over who should be in charge. You've been doing well this whole game, and now Mondo wants to take over. Celeste thinks of a dark, dark poem. Chiaki is rotting silently, and Togami doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Junko AI. Which means it is now the Wolves versus Celeste. It is Mondo, Togami, and Gota versus Celeste. We lost two. So first... A terrible turnabout for Izioi, Junko, AI. Our junk, our, our junk, our joke entry almost got the W. It was almost crazy Yoko extra large all over again. Junko absolutely immense might be back, but right now it is an interesting. Crises of Fate moment. It is Gonta, Mondo, and Togami all against Celeste. She needs some luck, she needs to go off, but it is possible for her to win. But as I said before, it's the final four, which means Gonta, Mondo, Togami, and Celeste are all caught in a Crisis of Fate gonna put these cards away but I will keep this one out because a secret achievement could still hit could still hit Gonta, Mondo, Togami, Celeste if Celeste perishes the other three go into their own simulation to see who will go on to the singles finale but Celeste could come out on top don't count her out yet we'll go to the next round don't count her out yet at the start of round 12, Celeste chops Gonta to bits with her axe. Rest in peace to the good boy. I I'm sure hearts broke after that one. Man, two days in a row. <sighs> Their team, the members of the Big Buff family were close, real close. Togami has a horrible feeling that's got Mondo's proud of that bikini. We lost one. After Celeste chops Gonta to bits with her axe, don't forget, she could go axe crazy. And get her first win. Because she doesn't have one. Can we get? And it would be a great week for her if she did. A terrible turnabout, however. Four. Gonta. Who's had a decent week? Or not a decent week, a decent past two weeks, I think. Maybe not yesterday. I don't quite remember where Gonta finished yesterday. But. This is interesting. No, Gonta did do pretty well yesterday. Uh, cause he and Sakura both entered the top 10. This is interesting. It is now a 1v2, which is very doable for Celeste. Not very doable, still tough, but doable. Can she pull it off? 
Tabami has a horrible feeling, but Mondo's feeling real proud. I don't know, but it's still those three caught in the crises of fate. <clears throat> it's Celeste, Togami, and Mondo. Let's proceed. See what happens. <gasps> Celeste attempts to kill Mondo, but Togami intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Togami dies in the attempt. And then Mondo sizes his muscles. This is... shocking. This is crazy. The team that had more than half of the top 10. Or rather, the top 9. Are here. Dwindled down to 1. That's why I said you can never say something is certain in this simulator. I will have to say, first of all, it is a terrible turnabout. 4. Togami. This is an interesting development. We have Celeste and we have Silver Metal Mondo, who hasn't gotten a silver in a long time, but he might say, hey, you know what, it's time to get it again. Or he could take another win. Celeste could take her first win. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do need to ask you guys what is going to happen. I need to ask you guys who will it be? Celeste, with her ex for her first win, she has survived long enough to dwindle down the werewolves to just one. Or will it be Mondo, who argued with Togami, but will he live on for him after Togami intervened to protect him, being the true leader, being the true alpha that he is? It is a classic clash between vampire and werewolf. Fitting that those two teams would be the final two. But only one can come out on top. So who do you think it'll be? Celeste for the vampires. Mondo for the werewolves. Celeste. Mondo. Celeste. Mondo. Celeste. Mondo. Will it even happen as I click next round? It won't. Mondo feels horrible for failing the werewolves. Celeste looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Will that be Mondo? Maybe, but she's got her axe and she's ready to use it. Mondo thinks about what he did to end up here. Next round. Oh no, it's over. She tried, but she did not succeed. Mondo flaunts his bikini. And Celeste almost did it. She almost had the greatest week in a long time, but... Celeste tries to kill Mondo, but Mondo retaliates and kills her instead. As a member of the squad, I'm hurting for Celeste right now. It was almost her time. Did she get second at any point last season too? I think she might have. I think she did. She survived for so long, but the werewolves did end up winning this one because after this truly a terrible turnabout for Celeste. It was almost a true underdog story. It was. It was almost a true underdog story, but it wasn't the underdog that won, but the were-dogs, the werewolves, because you're a winner. Representing the werewolves with five KOs, a lot of people had 5 KOs, oh my gosh. Mondo does not get the silver medal, but takes another gold and takes the win. I can't be too mad at a Mondo win. He doesn't get them often. At all. But he's got one today. Congrats to him. He earned it. He did earn- oh, did he earn this one? He earned this one. Really? Mondo, Togami, and Celeste all kind of earned that one. They all got five KOs that game, as well as Izioi, who also could have earned it. It was almost his time. Celeste, Izioi, I was in the back of my mind rooting for you two. She was so close. I thought she had it, but she didn't have it. It's Mondo's time. It's Mondo's day. Junko AI, 
for her first game with four KOs, that's pretty dang good. Master with three, Mikan with two, and everyone else with one or less. And that's it. We can bring up the singles bracket. With Mondo. More power to him. Oh, Celeste. At least you're in tag team action. That kinda softens the blow, but you were so close. So close. Oh, man. That's devastating. But hey, that's RNG for you. We brought up the bracket. We went over the KOs. The werewolves won. I think that's it. Until Sunday. Sunday, the day, the first day of the season when the OCs take to the battlefield, take to the arena for what way, for what may be one of the greatest matches. I can't guarantee you it will be one of the greatest matches of all time, but it will be a fun one. I can guarantee you that. Stay classy. Until then, with the one hour time change for everyone who's not celebrating daylight savings time, stay classy. Until then, toodle in, fly crew. Thanks for watching.